Hey guys, what's up? It's Scott with Let's Keep It Simple, and today we're going to be jailbreaking iOS 4.3.3 for AT&T and iOS 4.2.8 for Verizon. First, I recommend upgrading to a stock 4.3.3 or 4.2.8 IPSW because I didn't and I ended up with no service when I jailbroke with Pondage Tool the first time. You can get the links for these in the description below. So for this jailbreak, we're going to be using Pondage Tool. It'll create a custom IPSW for our devices that comes with Presidia pre-installed. To use Ponish Tool, simply open the application, select the device, press Expert Mode, and browse for your IPSW that you just downloaded. Next, you're going to click on Build and press the blue arrow. And then just pick a place to save the custom IPSW file. I chose my desktop. Ponish Tool will now build your custom IPSW pre-installed with Cydia. Now during the first minute of Ponish Tool, it will ask your computer for its password. Enter it and press enter. The rest of the process may take about 5 to 10 minutes. Once it's done, you'll be prompted to enter your device into DFU mode. It gives you about a 5 second notice, which I almost always miss, and walks you through steps to put your device into DFU mode. And if you mess up like I did, don't worry, it'll ask you if you want to try it again. Next up, open up iTunes and press Option or Alt and Restore. Then browse for the custom IPSW you just made and let iTunes do the rest. Your phone will go white and the jailbreak will start. It may take two to three minutes for this to be done. So that's all, and soon you'll have Cydia installed on your AT&T or Verizon iPhone. Now there are a few errors that may come up that I want to address. For example, you may get that awful error 1600, 1601, 02, 03, 04, etc. Or your device just may get stuck in restore. Both of those situations happened to me the first time. But luckily, there's a few simple ways to fix that, which I'll show you in the descriptions below. Well, that's all, and thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.